What is a fun vampire? Basically, a fun vampire is exactly as the name suggests. They can't live without sucking every last drop of fun out of all of life's enjoyments. Since they seem to lack the capacity to enjoy something, they feel the need to ruin stuff for others. There are various types of fun vampires. The first we'll go over is the most well known, Karens. Whether it be yelling at a McDonald's cashier, harassing people of color, or generally being annoying, Karens always find a way to make everyone's life a living hell, often for stupid or insignificant reasons. If a Karen is near, you better be prepared to witness a temper tantrum like you've never seen before. Caillou wishes he was this bad, and God forbid a group of kids are minding their own business playing on the other side of the street, because apparently that's disturbing the peace, and you'll get the cops calling you for that. Yeah, you want to know why kids never play outside anymore? Because of fun vampires like this. In fact, I have a theory that these people are the reason for crippling iPad addiction to toddlers. Since these kids don't want to get the police called on them for no reason, they have to find something to do while they're trapped inside. So, way to go, Karens. You single-handedly doomed Gen Alpha. All because you couldn't resist being an insufferable bitch for five seconds. Side note, it's important to note that not all Karens are female. Male Karens do exist, and they're just as bad. Next up is the PC Police. Also known as Social Justice Warriors or the Twitter Mob. The PC Police will grasp at straws and take something that people enjoy and make it seem problematic when it really isn't. Sorry sir, you can't use that rubber ducky persona. It's racist, sexist, ableist, and other words that end with hist. I already hate this prick. If you think I'm over exaggerating, I'm not. A lot of these people's claims are so idiotic that I might have to come up with a new word to describe the amount of idiocy in these people. Ugh, I know dude. Terminally online people are the worst. Hell, here's someone complaining that the word German is sexist because it contains the word man. Here's the time Twitter tried to cancel the thumbs up emoji and the poo emoji because they're somehow hostile. How? There are people getting murdered and you're going to complain about a damn emoji? And I know that every website has these people, but Twitter is practically a breeding ground for them. These people are just a bunch of fun vampires that suck the enjoyment out of literally anything, even small things like emojis. They also like to throw around the word transphobic for absolutely no reason. This is transphobic, because I say it is transphobic, got it? You need to touch grass. Up next is PETA. Just the entire corporation, I'm giving them their own spot. Honestly, with all the messed up shit that PETA has done, I can make an entire video on just them alone. PETA disguises themselves as an animal rights organization, but what they really are are a bunch of fun vampires. They've made parody games trying to claim that these games promote animal cruelty, such as Pokemon, Mario, Cookie Mama, Super Meat Boy, etc. And also, remember that cake trend where people were presenting random objects and revealing them to be cakes? Well, PETA decided to jump on that bandwagon in the absolute worst way possible. They uploaded to Twitter a video of a dead cat having its head split open, revealing its brains for literally no reason at all other than to shock people. If that wasn't bad enough, they also regularly euthanize people's pets, including a little girl's chihuahua, and frequently show kids pictures of dead animals because, well, why not? Again, PETA is just a bunch of fun vampires that suck the fun out of life's most simple enjoyments, except they do it in the worst way possible. And they wonder why everyone hates them. This next type has since gone extinct, but I feel like I should bring it up anyway. I'm talking about Leafius here and his many clones. Basically, all this guy would do is he would make videos making fun of kids on the internet. Like, there's a bunch of kids just goofing off, having fun, and here comes Leafy, here to put them on blast, which, given his large fan base at the time, opened these kids up to a world of cyberbullying. I'm not going to bring up that one incident involving that man with autism, since by now you should already know the story, but it only proves my point that the Leafy era was a dark period for YouTube. I'm just glad Leafius here is no longer on YouTube, and all of his clones have since moved on. This guy gives a bad name to the OG Leafy. Seriously, Leafius here's legacy is nothing but a stain on the commentary community's already less than stellar reputation. Up next is one of, if not the most hated type on this list, the UTTP. The UTTP, short for YouTube Troll Police, are a group of spam accounts that go to random comment sections and spam shit like, My content is better than this guy's. 
Now, if that was all they did, then that alone would be enough to get them on this list. But believe me when I say that it is much worse than that. A YouTuber named Dan O'Cal Drawings made a now deleted video talking about them, and as a joke, he added them to the lore of the Shorts Wars, which is basically an ARG, but I digress. After he made this video, the harassment he received got worse and worse until he began to dox him. Yeah, you heard me right. These assholes think doxing is funny. They also have an official Discord server, which I haven't looked at, and frankly, I don't want to, but from what I've heard, it's more toxic than all of Twitter combined. So, what are we supposed to do with these bots? Well, I'm gonna quote Dano. If you see one of these bots, report it and ignore it, because the moment you leave a reply or go to the channel, they win. Honestly, it goes without saying that the UTCP are not at all what they claim to be. Up next is what I like to call the Predator Gamer. Basically, these people are child predators, claim and simple. What they do is they find online multiplayer games that are popular with kids, such as Minecraft, Fortnite, Among Us, Roblox, etc. And they try to find kids to meet in real life. First is one, then two, then three, and pretty soon the entire servers are overrun with predators here to get a slice of that glorious cheese pizza. And for a brief tangent, if you diddle kids or think it should be okay to diddle kids or to be attracted to them, you're worse than a fun vampire. If that's how you get your rocks off, you are the absolute scum of the earth, and I wish nothing but the absolute worst for you and the rest of your kind. So with all due respect, please do the world a favor and commit toaster bath. Okay? Tangent over. So, going back on track, like I said, these vile creatures go on online multiplayer games to find children. And I know that's not the game's fault, but if you're an adult who happens to enjoy any of these games, then sadly, this is what you're now being associated with. I feel that only at around the age of four are children perhaps able to consent to sexual acts and around the Up next are toxic fanboys slash fangirls. All of you already know what I'm talking about, but for a brief rundown, toxic fanboys, also known as stans, are people who like a certain type of media so much they just can't leave it at that. They feel the need to ruin it for everyone else for some reason. The best example I can think of is Dream. Imagine being a fan of Dream during the peak of its popularity. You've just discovered a new Minecraft YouTuber who makes interesting enough content to earn your subscription. But then, the stands come in and poison the water for everyone. And now everyone's making fun of you just for liking his content. These are the dream stands, and they will do whatever they can to push everyone away from becoming a fan of his instead of allowing the fandom to grow. The tactics they use range from sending death threats to doxing, both of which have become all too common in the world of today. Hell, the Rick and Morty fanbase is also pretty bad. Hell, it's because of the fans that I can't even watch Rick and Morty because of people like this. I want sexual sauce. Where's my sexual sauce? I can't go Rick. What will I do? I can't go Rick. I would like everyone in the comments to refrain from calling this man autistic. I'm all for free speech, but calling this man autistic is an insult to people who are on the spectrum. We do not want to be associated with this embarrassment of a human being. And I haven't even brought up the K-pop stands or the Swifties. Honestly, I could go on all day. The last example I'm going to talk about are people who post spoilers online. Imagine this, you find a show that you really like and become invested in. But before you can finish watching it, someone spoils the end for you just to be a dick. Or that there's a movie that you're really, really excited for. But then you go on social media and someone's spoiling it. Because why? Fuck you. That's why. People who post spoilers with absolutely no consideration for others are some of the lowest kinds of fun vampires as they feel the need to ruin shows and movies for other people because they themselves cannot cope with the fact that they live sad, pathetic lives with no friends, no loved ones, no future, and I hope they live the rest of their life in absolute misery!
If you're wondering why I'm getting so angry about this, it's because this happened to me with a Total Drama Island reboot. Thanks to this excuse for a human being who thinks it's funny to post spoilers in the thumbnail without any thought that maybe not everyone has seen the Total Drama reboot. Mystic Dreamcatcher, if you're watching this, I hope your dad leaves you, and I hope your dick gets put in a deli slicer. And that's all I'm going to cover for now. There's more types of fun vampires that I had to leave off the list because it was getting way too long. And if you know me, I like to keep things as short as possible. There's also people who take jokes too seriously, which I already talked about in a video I did a while ago. Which I'll leave a link to in the description if you're interested. Let me know in the comments what kind of fun vampires I missed. And as always, my name is PJ, and I'm going to go guy scream. You ain't never gonna slow me down, cause I feel alive now.